Sitting down with Russ Turner now again the final here tonight at the Brent Event Center 79-61. Anteaters staying perfect on the young season. So they improved to 4-0 on the year. Coach, when we talked before the game, you said you know you wanted your guys to you know, play better as a unit offensively, but the defense has continued to be you know phenomenal for you guys. And really, the first 10 minutes, the energy that your starters brought on both ends of the floor. I mean, you really grabbed control in this game right out of the gate. Yeah, our experienced guys dictated the game, you know, at the start and then again at the start of the second half, and I'm pleased right. with that. That's what uh, I feel like we should do, you know, yeah. in this environment here at home and against a team that's, you know, not very experienced in, in Santa Clara. And uh, we, we were able to do that. I'm pleased with that. Uh, the things in our game plan that we really focused on, we did very well tonight. We limited the three-point shots. We didn't give Brown Ridge much. We, right. we, we fouled him some, um, and I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but that's – more a result of the game going the way it did, I think, than anything. And, uh, you know, we'll be better at maintaining our focus over the course of 40 minutes, I think, in tight games. If we've got a problem right now, it's it's maintaining that when we when we get a lead. But that's right. a pretty good problem to have, right. all the problems you could right. have as a team. So, Yeah, Luke Nelson, another nice night from the field. 20 points for Luke, 6 of 8. Uh, Mamadou, though, not in foul trouble tonight, so was able to play more minutes. And I thought that he found a nice rhythm offensively, and you guys made a good effort to get him the rock early and often, especially to start that second half. Yeah, we, I mean, we know that Mamadou creates problems for the other team. Right. And so we, we uh, you know, we make them make choices and how they're going to play against them and what they're going to give. And I thought he did a nice job throwing the ball out tonight. Uh, we made a couple shots moving the ball out of the post. Uh, we haven't got it moved side to side that much. I thought that was the problem early. We didn't do a good job of that. We tend to look at him and want so bad to get it into him right away. And we, we need to just do a better job of taking you know more time to get it in there and get it in right. there to him when he's right next to the basket when nobody can stop him um, but we're getting better at that I think and yeah. uh, you know offensively other than our turnovers I thought we played pretty well we didn't shoot the ball terrific but we shot it okay you know enough to enough to control the game right good to have Aaron right back yeah. he was out there you know and that allowed you know Luke Nelson and Alex Young to get a little more minutes on the bench maybe some more breathing time. And now you guys will be fresh, and, and this will be fun come Thursday as it'll all kick off with Boise State. A loaded field, obviously, so I'm sure you guys are excited for that. I know when we talked before the year, you felt that this was the team to take on this challenge to enter this tournament. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about what's in front of us. And uh, these guys have, you know, have worked hard to have the start that we have yep. at 4-0. I told them in the locker rooms, first time in 30-some years we've had a record like this start the game, I mean, to start the season. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the step up in competition we're going to face right. because we haven't faced teams like what we're going to face beginning on Thursday. So uh, that should be good for our team, good for our fans. I'm looking forward to that. i got to make sure we say something about Brandon Smith tonight, though. Yeah, uh, You forgot Brandon, to ask me I, about him. I mean, right. He was, he he was, was sensational. pretty daggone good. And, uh, and, and I think there's going to be a lot of... 13.7 rebounds. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of nights that are good for him as an anteater. And uh, I'm pleased with you know his performance. Um, we've got a bunch of different guys who can all step forward. Yeah. And uh, that's an exciting thing. Um, for our program right now. Well, the Wooden Legacy will continue on Thursday in Fullerton. Coach, congrats on the win. We'll see you then. All right, thanks.